Hey there traders, David Floyd here with Aspen Trading Group and welcome to another session of Ask Dave. As I'd noted at the beginning of 2019, um, oftentimes I'm going to start doing these via video because one, it's much easier sometimes to answer a more detailed question in a live format rather than writing it out and putting a whole bunch of graphs and charts together. Sometimes it's just easier to talk to you and give you a little bit more color that's not possible in text only. So. One of the questions I got recently, and it's a very common one, is talking about how do you hold on to your winning trades? And, you know, again, probably everybody's smiling because we've all asked ourselves that question at times. And again, no magical formula, but I think what I can do is offer you some guidelines as to how to do that. And it all goes back to the reason you're placing the trade to begin with whether it be a fundamental reason, a technical reason, quantitative, a combination thereof, whatever it may be, what you have to do in terms of managing a winning trade is always be asking yourself, does the original thesis still make sense? Has anything changed that's going to prohibit that thesis from playing out? Or, it's probably closely tied to the previous bullet point, is there some new information out there that is going to derail that? And that can easily happen in any given trade. The most obvious thing is, you know, a change in interest rate policy or a change in political, uh, a political change or some geopolitical event. Or maybe there's a price level on your charts that's been taken out that now invalidates what your original thesis was. It's really, really important that you don't get caught up in what the original thesis was and stick to that when confronted with new information. So... I don't have a magic silver bullet answer for you, but I think the best way to manage a winning trade is to always go back to what the original premise for the trade was. If it's still valid, fantastic, hang with the trade. What I would suggest though, is that as trades begin to move into your favor, you begin to look for areas from a price standpoint where you wanna have stop losses, meaning levels on the charts that say, you know what? If we go below here, my thesis is no longer valid. And the same thing on the upside, assuming you're long. If we're getting into areas where your thesis has been met or your ultimate upside objective has been met, take profits by all means. Maybe there's more in the trade, so maybe leave a teaser position on. But stick to the rules. Never deviate. I've seen many people over the years say, well... I based my chart on, I based this trade on the hourly chart and it's not working out, but the daily chart looks fantastic. Well, you have a major disconnect there because a daily chart deals with a completely longer time frame, whole different set of circumstances. Don't fall into that trap. Don't change the narrative just because the trade may not be working out. Stick with your thesis. Is your thesis still working? And if it is, manage the trade accordingly. If the thesis hasn't, if the thesis has changed, reevaluate and likely close the trade out. This has been David Floyd with Aspen Trading. I'll be back with another edition of Ask Dave in the next few weeks, so be on the lookout.